I am grateful and deeply honored to have been chosen for a 2017 Motif Award. I come before you not simply as one individual, but rather as a representative of a legion of people who have worked together first to create Sesame Street and later Sesame Workshop and its impact around the world. In the beginning, there were my colleagues, Joan Cooney, Gerald Lesser, Dave Connell, John Stone, Ed Palmer, and Sam Gibbon, joined very quickly by Jim Henson and his Muppets and Joe Raposo. Now we have Jeff Dunn, Steve Youngwood, Sherry Weston, Brown Johnson, and Michael Levine. Between 1966 and the present time, Hundreds of other dedicated and talented people have contributed to our success. They believed in an idea that the media children were consuming more and more could be used to supplement formal education. Just as an Aesop's fable could both captivate and teach, so could a television show or a YouTube clip. Sesame Street was brought first broadcast on PBS stations in 1969. Almost 50 years later, media usage is higher than ever, but both the nature of media and the conditions of use are very different. In 1969, the average television viewing family would have only one set, and the family watched together. Sesame Street was designed with this in mind and tried to appeal to both children and their parents. Now television and media usage is more of an individual activity. The number of television sets per household is multiplied. More mothers are in the workforce. The internet is a source of unlimited content and smartphones and tablets are ubiquitous. The proportion of children who enter school three or four months behind their peers is about the same now as in 1969 and those children who are behind tend to fall further behind as the years go by. Unfortunately, there is often a disconnect between early education and formal schooling, with kindergarten and first grade not building on what has been accomplished. Many high-performing countries have instituted universal daycare and preschool education with a beneficial result that there is a planned continuum of education through the childhood years. Almost all careful studies show that investment in early education pays off, both economically and in educational achievement. Among others, Nobel laureate James Heckman has repeatedly shown the economic value of early education. It is not simply that the content of early education is important, but if well done, children learn diligence, perseverance, and self-discipline. Our challenge is clear. We need to continue to find ways to harness our technological prowess in the service of education to enable children to fulfill their potential. And we need to invest far more than we currently do in quality preschool education. I am pleased and honored to accept this award. Thank you and good night.